Good morning, guys. This is Spirit Journey. I just want to get this thought in before I forget. I was thinking about how you have societies, and some societies overpower others. Now, for the past 500 years, you have Europeans who have colonies all over the world. They have a broad sphere of influence. Then some people might think, well, because they're superior to other nations. But when you look back 500 years ago, that nations pretty much were about the same. Some may have had a better, uh, a stronger, let's say, navy force. They were able to travel via water on ships. While others, they may not have that. Well, again, if you don't live by a, an ocean, then it's, it doesn't apply to you, really. You don't need it. But I was thinking, what makes some nations flourish over others if basically everyone had the same type of skills? You know, you have to do farming, you have to hunt for animals for food, you know, etc. Then I came with this thought. It's called the Army of Intent. What that is referring to is you can have, let's say, let's say you have a neighbor and that neighbor says, oh, can I come over to your house? And they sure. And they come over and, and let's say both of you do the same occupation, whatever, and you allow them to come over. And let's say they were scanning your place to see what you have. They had an intent. And then they leave and they know what you have and where it is. And they know your habits. And so when, when you leave, they come in and plunder you. So that's what happened in history. We had people who had an intent. And then on a collective, they had a collective of people who, you know, worked with them and had an aim, an agenda, and then acted out that agenda. So in history, you had people with what I call a, a, an army of thought, and that's what happened. So it's not about someone being better or stronger. It's about intent. And some of us have our guards down, while others have their guards up and are predators. So I guess don't be naive and be aware and so you don't get plundered. So that's all that I have to say. So there is power in the army of thought. Without it, it either could make or break a nation. So this is just food for thought. That's my little girl, Lily. You quiet. So you take care. Bye.